Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we'll be talking about traceability in the food supply chain. Traceability in the food supply chain is a critical component of ensuring food safety, quality, and accountability. It involves the ability to track and trace the movement of food products and their ingredients from their origin through various stages of production, processing, distribution, and retail until they reach the consumer. Traceability helps identifying the source of any contamination or foodborne illness outbreaks, allows for swift recalls when necessary, and enhances consumer confidence in the safety of the food supply. In this video, we will explore what traceability is, its importance in the food supply chain, regulatory compliance, best practices, procedures, key data elements, and the significance of lot codes. So, what is traceability? Traceability in the food supply chain refers to the ability to track the movement of a food product or ingredient at any given point along the supply chain. This includes monitoring its production, processing, distribution, and consumption. The primary goal of traceability is to ensure the safety and quality of food products, prevent foodborne illnesses, and respond effectively to recalls or contamination incidents. Food traceability is important for several reasons, as it plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety, quality, and transparency of the food supply chain. Here are some key reasons why traceability is important. Food safety. Traceability plays a pivotal role in identifying the source of contamination or foodborne illnesses, enabling swift actions to prevent further spread and protect public health. Quality assurance. By tracing the journey of a food product, stakeholders can monitor and maintain product quality, ensuring that it meets the established standards and expectations. Consumer confidence. Traceability enhances transparency in the supply chain, increasing consumer trust in food products and brands, as they can access information about the origin and handling of the products they purchase. Regulatory compliance. Many countries have strict regulations in place that mandate traceability as a part of food safety requirements. Compliance is not only a legal necessity but also an ethical responsibility. Several countries and regions have established regulations and guidelines related to traceability in the food supply chain. For example, in the United States, the Food Safety Modernization Act or FISMA places a significant emphasis on traceability, requiring food businesses to establish systems that can trace the source of contaminated products within 24 hours. EU regulations mandate traceability at all stages of the food supply chain, with specific requirements for labeling, record-keeping, and information sharing among suppliers. The Safe Food for Canadians Act in Canada outlines traceability requirements for various food commodities, with a focus on rapid recall and risk assessment. One of the key frameworks and initiatives related to traceability in the food industry is the Global Food Safety Initiative. GFSI is a collaborative platform created by food industry stakeholders to establish a harmonized approach to food safety management systems and reduce food safety risks globally. GFSI benchmark standards often include specific requirements related to traceability. These requirements can encompass documenting product movements, labeling, batch identification, and record-keeping to facilitate product traceability. Many countries and regions have regulations that require food businesses to have traceability systems in place. Compliance with GFSI benchmark standards can help meet these regulatory requirements. To extend a little bit more about regulatory compliance, Let's talk about the Food Safety Modernization Act final rule on requirements for additional traceability records for certain foods. This rule is a set of regulations aimed to improve the traceability of certain high-risk foods in the United States, enhance the FDA's ability to trace the origins of food products in the event of a foodborne illness outbreak, and to prevent and control such outbreaks more effectively. Here's an overview of the key aspects of the FISMA final rule on requirements for additional traceability records for certain foods. The rule primarily applies to specific high-risk foods. These foods are typically more prone to contamination and outbreaks, and their traceability is critical to ensuring public safety. Examples include certain types of produce, seafood, and ready-to-eat foods. The rule divides these foods into two categories, critical tracking events or CTEs, and key data elements or KDs. 
Critical tracking events are specific points in the supply chain where information about the food's origin and distribution must be documented. The rule identifies critical tracking events as activities such as receiving, creating, and transforming the food. For example, when a food is received at a facility, the information about its source, shipment, and distribution must be recorded. Key data elements are the specific pieces of information that must be recorded at each critical tracking event. The rule provides a list of required key data elements, which may include data such as the food's lot code, the date it was received or shipped, the supplier's information, and more. The rule mandates that entities in the supply chain must create and maintain records for the high-risk foods they handle. These records must include the required key data elements and be accessible for FDA inspections within 24 hours to facilitate rapid traceability and investigation in the event of an outbreak or contamination. Five high-risk food products must be assigned a traceability lot code that enables the tracking of the product's movement through the supply chain. The rule encourages the use of electronic record-keeping systems to improve traceability and accessibility of records. Electronic systems can simplify record management, retrieval, and sharing with the FDA in the event of a recall or outbreak investigation. Businesses subject to the rule may be subject to FDA inspections and audits to ensure compliance with the traceability requirements. Enhanced traceability records help businesses respond more quickly and effectively in the event of food recalls, helping to protect public health. The compliance dates for this rule are phased in based on the size of the business. Small businesses have more time to comply than larger ones. To ensure effective traceability, the following best practices should be followed. Unique identifiers. Each food product should have a unique identifier, such as a barcode or lot code, which allows for easy tracking. Record keeping. Maintain detailed records of all transactions and movements of food products within the supply chain, including dates, times, locations, and parties involved. Data sharing. Collaborate with suppliers and distributors to share relevant traceability data promptly and efficiently. Regular audits. Conduct regular audits to ensure that traceability systems are functioning correctly and that records are accurate. Key data elements that should be included in a traceability system are Product information such as name, type, and batch or lot number. Details about the supplier, such as name, address, and contact information. Details about the recipient, including name, address, and contact information. Precise timestamps for when the product was received, processed, and distributed. Lot codes are alphanumeric or numeric codes assigned to a specific batch or lot of a product. They are crucial in traceability for several reasons. Lot codes uniquely identify a specific batch, allowing for precise tracking in case of a recall or quality issue. Additionally, lot codes enable producers to monitor and control the quality of products, making it easier to identify and address quality issues. Many companies, especially in the food industry, have implemented traceability systems to enhance transparency, safety, and efficiency in their supply chains. Here are two examples of companies that have demonstrated traceability implementations. In 2015, Chipotle Mexican Grill experienced a series of foodborne illness outbreaks. Their traceability system helped identify the source of contamination and led to improvements in their supply chain management. Walmart, one of the world's largest retailers, has been a pioneer in using blockchain technology for traceability. They partnered with IBM to develop a blockchain-based system for tracking the source of leafy greens like spinach and lettuce. This system helps Walmart quickly identify the source of contaminated products and remove them from store shelves, enhancing food safety. There are other companies that have demonstrated successful traceability implementation such as Nestle, Cargill, McDonald's, wine producers, Dole Food Company, and many others. Traceability is not limited to a specific industry or type of product, but can be applied across various sectors to improve supply chain transparency, product safety, and consumer trust. Companies that invest in traceability systems often benefit from enhanced brand reputation and reduced risks associated with recalls and supply chain disruptions. Maintaining proper traceability in the food supply chain is essential for ensuring food safety, quality, and compliance with regulations. 
Here are examples of procedures and documents that can help establish and maintain an effective traceability system. 1. Supplier Approval and Verification Procedures Document supplier evaluation criteria, including quality and traceability standards. Maintain records of approved suppliers and their contact information. Establish procedures for periodic supplier audits and inspections. 2. Incoming Goods Inspection Develop procedures for inspecting incoming raw materials and products. Record information such as supplier details, lot numbers, and inspection results. Implement a quarantine process for non-conforming items. 3. Inventory control and management. Maintain an inventory management system that tracks product movement within your facility. Record product receipt, storage, and dispatch details, including dates and quantities. Implement a first-in, first-out, FIFO, or first-expiry, first-out, FIFO, inventory rotation system. 4. Batch or lot numbering. Assign unique batch or lot numbers to each production run. Document the production date, expiration date, and ingredients used for each batch. Maintain records of batch production, including any adjustments or deviations. 5. Product labels and packaging. Develop labeling procedures that include traceability information, for example, batch-slash-lot number and date codes. Ensure accurate labeling of allergen information and nutritional facts. Retain samples of product labels and packaging for reference. 6. Production records. Maintain detailed production records, including recipes, formulations, and processing steps. Record the start and end times of each production run. Document any deviations from standard operating procedures. 7. Distribution and shipment records. Keep records of products shipped to customers, including shipment dates and quantities. Document the vehicle and driver information for each shipment. Implement procedures for verifying the condition of products upon receipt by customers. 8. Recall and traceability testing. Establish procedures for conducting traceability tests and mock recalls. Document the results of traceability tests and evaluate the effectiveness of recall procedures. 9. Document retention and archiving. Define a document retention policy for maintaining records for a specified period. Ensure secure storage of records to prevent loss or tampering. 10. Regulatory compliance documentation. Maintain records of compliance with relevant food safety regulations and standards. Keep copies of permits, certifications, and inspection reports. 11. Training and competency records. Document employee training on traceability procedures and food safety practices. Maintain records of employee qualifications and competencies. 12. Incident and complaint handling. Develop procedures for handling customer complaints and incidents. Document investigations, corrective actions, and preventive measures taken. 13. Supplier and customer communication. Keep records of communication with suppliers and customers regarding product information, recalls, and quality issues. 14. Technology systems. Implement traceability software or systems to automate data capture and retrieval processes. Ensure data integrity and regular system backups. By implementing these procedures and maintaining the associated documents, food businesses can establish and maintain an effective traceability system that enhances food safety, quality, and compliance throughout the supply chain. It's important to adapt these procedures to meet specific regulatory requirements and the unique needs of your organization. Regular audits and reviews can help ensure the effectiveness of your traceability system. Traceability is a cornerstone of food safety and quality in the modern food supply chain. It not only helps protect public health but also ensures the integrity of the products we consume. Regulatory compliance, best practices, key data elements, and lot codes all contribute to the effectiveness of traceability systems. Traceability is not just a theoretical concept but a practical necessity for ensuring food safety and quality in today's globalized food supply chain. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming content. We wish you all the best and hope to see you again soon.